Hi, and welcome to another edition of Onside SA. And Budge, we're back in. Again, Budge, the big three couldn't uh, find a winner. Yep. Le and I'll let the public know. <laughs> Larry Weinstein, tipped to be favourite to win it. Well, he, Larry was on Chelsea. I thought this was it. Yeah. Uh, 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 Gary Leach. And Gary then... was on Everton. Last minute clearance off the line cost him. And uh, Skipper Joe, Ernie Wallace, he was on Burnley. So the, the, the thing is, twice now, yeah. uh, it's, it's been in the hands of the third man, Gary Leach. Yeah. He had Liverpool two weeks yeah. ago. They got a draw out of it. And Everton. And Everton. Yeah. So Gary ain't going to win it. He's had two shots. I think it's oh. between Skipper Joe and... Uh, and, of course, uh, our man, uh, Larry Weinstein. Bear in mind that every week the, the, the size they've selected cannot be utilised. So it's getting thinner and thinner for them as they go on. That's part one. We still haven't got a winner. We've had seven weeks. But part two, Budge, 30% yep. gone. Yep, 30% gone. Mainly Chelsea again. Every time we have a start a competition. Yes. We'll beat Burnley in the first week. And couldn't yes. believe they lost to Crystal Palace again. But uh, only three teams won. Yep, of the, the selected ones. Yeah, Swansea, Man City and Spurs. Well, there we go now. Uh, Joe Soma, I've got to talk about the humble hero. Joe, yeah. Joe was, uh, like Larry, confident when yeah. they came in. Joe put four in. What happened to Joe? <laughs> Tell people what happened to Joe. Well, Joe's deposited his 400 rand, and I got a hold of him. One was for Larry, one was for Gabby, and one was for one of his clients, Philip, uh, I think it's Dimitri Akartis, I think so. Excuse yeah. me, Philip, if I'm wrong. And uh, when I told him that Larry was, had his own entries as well, him and his son Mark, he said, don't worry, I'll give it to my brother Neville. Of the four picks, Neville, Philip, and Gabby stayed in. Joey went out with Southampton. <laughs> uh, Joey, commiserations. Commiserations, and, uh, Joey. The humble hero is gone. But w while we're here now, we've got uh, Steve B on uh, Stevie B, our pundit from overseas. He's on the line. Stevie, can you hear us? I can. Oh, fantastic. Good to Good hear morning. from you, Steve. And uh, well, Bud just put, uh, put a few questions to you because in the, I think in the Soccer 10 or Soccer 13, there's 13. a few championship games. But... Stevie, I, I, I think you're aware that Budgie is uh, a man from Preston, the Preston North End side Indeed, of it. Indeed, yes. We, uh, What's the story on that game with Fulham last week? Well, it's, I, to, to be fair, Preston played very well. They play a very uh, aggressive sort of pressing sort of game. And they've obviously watched us because we like to play out from the back and they made it hard. Um, probably a, a draw was a fair result. We certainly didn't deserve to lose. Uh, although we did leave it late, the 96th minute, yeah. uh, most of which I think uh, was added because of a bit of time wasting um, as they tied. But it was it was a good game. They were certainly one of the best teams I've seen uh, Fulham this season. So I think you know all credit to to Preston. It was uh, you know I think they'll do well this season. Um, not sure the playoffs, but I think they're going to be uh, close. Oh, now tell me about the penalty. The boy you dive. The boy should have got sent off for diving. <laughs> I think there was a, it was a slight touch. A slight the, touch. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 these are given, like, you know, we see it week in, week out. Oh. So, uh, what can I say? Well, we did miss one soon after from about two yards. So, yeah. so but having said that, with our penalty record, it, it's, it's not a given that we're going to score. So. Yeah, no, that was true. No, I think well, the Preston boys before the game would have been happy, but obviously you tune them up, Steve, and you end up tossing it. Yeah, and I saw no, the no, second goal. They did. They looked, uh, they looked sort of pretty crestfallen at, uh, yeah. at the end of the game. But, you know, that happens. We conceded, as I think I sort of mentioned before, yeah. we conceded three late goals in, in home games and dropped points in each of them. So uh, it goes around, you know, over the course of the season, it sort of evens itself out. Yeah, I know, sure it does. But yeah. what are the games in the championship? Steve, a uh, couple of games, you know, got a lot of punt or a lot of people ask me, you know, we have our soccer 13, which is always millions of rands here. Sure. Aston Villa, Fulham, how do you see it? Uh, I think it'll be a tight game. Yeah. Um, it's interesting. I mean, with Villa have sort of been on a we're on a reasonable run. Um, it came on stuck last week at Wolves, who yeah. uh, you know I do fancy very strongly at the moment. I think Wolves are top, and I think I think they are going to take some uh, displacing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd probably be happy with the point now at this at this at this stage for Fulham. I think it's going to be um, a fairly tight game. Yeah. You know, last season was a very dow game up at Villa Park, and uh, we lost to a very late goal. Yeah, I think pressure last game. Steve you know, Bruce as well. He's not going to want to get a beat, is he? You know, I know they're unbeaten. No, and... I mean obviously. Uh, yeah. No, I think I think you're right. I, I, it's not going to be. Um, you know, having said that, we tend to play a little little more expansive away yeah. from home. Uh, we've got a bit of pace. Obviously, Villa have got. Uh, um, John Terry sort of marshalling the defence. Mm -hmm. So I think I think it'd be a close game. I don't think there'd be many goals in it. Yeah. I'd be okay. delighted if we, we pinched the win, but I'd I'd be happy with the draw. Okay, okay. Burn uh, sorry, Barnsley, Hull City. 
Well, Barnsley, I think, surprised uh, you know, a lot of people last week. They held Middlesbrough. In fact, yeah. they were 2 1 nil and 2 1 up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hull are a very sort of up and down team. They scored a lot of goals, but they conceded yeah. a lot of goals. I think this will be close. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's uh, a, more than one goal in this game. Yeah, I agree with that. You know, Barnsley, one clean sheet in 11 league games this season. There's been more yeah. goals, I think, in Hull City's games than any other in the, in the championship. So. They have, I think. I'm not sure. They've scored something like 23 and let in 20. So, yeah. uh, obviously, entertaining to watch. Uh-huh. Um, with, so I, th- I think it will be close. I think it's a hard one to call. Okay. Bolton QPR. See, Bolton had the first victory. I think the only two games they've won, well, Sheffield Wednesday and the League Cup, and they see they beat them again. Good chance against yes, the QPR uh, team. That, that, was, that, that was a bit of a surprise result, I think, uh, you know, last week. And I don't think most, many people expected Bolton to get their first home win against mm-hmm. Sheffield Wednesday. Um, sounded like they, they played a lot better than they have been. Yes. If they show that sort of commitment, then they could pull off another surprise. So um, QPR not the best away from, travelling away from home I think oh. that'd be tight but uh, again I wouldn't be surprised Bolton might nick that by, by the odd goal okay. Steve a team that shocked everybody so far is Bristol City unbeaten in 10 you think they can get another one over Leeds United uh, that's going to be a tight I mean Leeds Leeds have certainly dropped off the pace Yeah. Um, you know after sort of four or five games they were sort of at the top of the table mm-hmm. um, last week you know they slipped up at home against Reading um, shocking penalty missed right at the end otherwise they could have got the points mm-hmm. Bristol City I have surprised people yeah. I, mean, I think um, as you say they're on beaten in 10 um, and you know they having said that they, I was surprised that they didn't win last week they, they sort of slipped up against uh, Burton uh, who had conceded a lot of goals I think this could be tight I, I'm, I'm going to would be surprised if, again if that's uh, either one goal in it or a draw yeah ok and the big Steve. game of the weekend Steve sorry uh, Middlesbrough Cardiff the both spent for Middlesbrough spent was it forty million? Shocking form of late. Yeah. Well, uh, I, you know they, they're without a win in, in, in a few now, and mm-hmm. I think that uh, Gary Monk's under a little bit of pressure. Um, Cardiff again themselves yeah. uh, lost last week at uh, yeah, Birmingham. Lost at Birmingham. So yeah. again, I think again it's going to be a very tight game. I don't think it'll be much in it. Probably one goal. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Middlesbrough come back though. Uh, I think you know, they're under pressure. As you say, they've spent a lot of money. Expectations are high. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I think they might just nick that by one goal. Stevie, mm-hmm. just before we roll off here, one last question for you: the Leicester job, who's going to get it? Uh, it seems to be a lot of people put their hat in the ring. Um, it's funny. Last week we were talking about whether Ronald Koeman would, would survive the week. I'm not sure that we saw the Craig Shakespeare sacking coming quite as soon as as, as it did. Whether or not they have expectations are high and they, they've been linked with a number of high-profile managers. Um, if you, if you had a bet, who would you bet? He, he doesn't want to go. But, um, you know, but it, it, it's a close... You know, look, you know, the, the owners have shown, unfortunately, that uh, you know, things don't, don't go well. They're, 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 you know, they're quick to sack with the, mm-hmm. after running area, after all he did for them. So you know, it might not appeal to everybody, but you know, I suspect there'll be a few people who will throw their hat in the ring. All right. Lovely. Stevie, thanks uh, once again. We've got a lot of these championship matches coming up in our betting, so it's good to get a bit of an idea. And uh, we'll talk to you sure. next week, Steve. Absolutely. Take care. Bye. Thank you, Steve. Cheers. Bye-bye. There we go. That uh, is Steve Bram and uh, the pundit from uh, over there knows his football. Nah, he, clued up. Yeah, Especially clued championship, Paul. Yes. A lot of us... He's got a team that he know, supports. You know? We don't watch it, so it's difficult. Yeah. Championship is tough, tough, tough. You know, you've seen it. Well, let's yeah. just have a quickly touch on Reading, but yeah. what's the story of Reading? Uh, so your upstarm's just about to be fired. Yeah, I can't score goals. You know, last year got done in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, by playoffs. Huddersfield. Yeah, it goes quickly. You know, yeah. they wanted to sign him to a five-year contract. Okay, Budge, we had championship, uh, Champions League during the week. Man City 2 on Napoli, I thought a very good game. Yeah, I watched the Tottenham game, Paul, yeah. Haven't that was got... a good game. Yeah, it was a good game. game. I, was, I was impressed with Spurs. Real Madrid yeah. are quality act. They don't yeah. lose too much at home. Yeah. But we could have won it, and they, yeah. they definitely could have won it. So, But now, how does a team like Maribor get into this? Well, Tell they me went about through Maribor. the playoffs. They're from Slovenia. Yeah, they go through, I think it was two qualifying rounds to get there. Won the playoff round, and yeah, you've got to get small teams in, Paul. You know, but, but seven. Yeah, and it was at home. They, 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 that uh, boy Salah impresses me. Yeah, you know, he goes past he scored, people. Yeah, he could have had hat tricks in almost every game, Paul. Yeah, correct. You know, yeah. he gets chances, he gets, doesn't finish them. Yeah, that's true. And then Wednesday, I watched Chelsea Roma. Okay. Great game. Roma at one stage had them on the rack. They were two 0 yeah. down, 
They came back uh, 3-2 up. Uh, Eden Dzeko, fantastic yeah. uh, volley. Uh, and then a good header by Hazard, 3-all. Good game for the M neutrals. Sounds like it. Yeah, so those two will go through from there. And yeah. then... Uh, Benfica United, I thought, was very yeah, tight. Not the best of games, no. Paul, you know, but a uh, good result at the end. Youngest keeper ever in the Champions League, the goalkeeper of Benfica, sold the jersey with a goal, took yes. two steps forward, went over his head. Where, where was it? He stepped too he, far back. He went too far. He came too early and realised the ball yeah. was coming a lot quicker than he thought. Then he backtracked and he was in the net. And uh, Tragic error, but yeah. Uh, yeah. a good result. You know, Paul, Champions all you've got to do is just get through. You know, yes, Finish yes. top of your group, avoid the big teams, and when it gets to February, then you worry about the next stage. And uh, Bayern Munich... Too, too good, good for Celtic. Yeah, yeah, too good. You know, I think Celtic realise that playing in the Scottish League, mm. they might be the, 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 the best team there, yeah. but when they come into Champions League, they find it tough. Eh? Yeah, it's not easy. Not easy. All right, to, to, to tonight, Everton. Everton, who, Europa League, yeah. He needs a win, the boss. Oh, he's under pressure. I've got mates that were at the game at Brighton. Yeah. A mate of mine, uh, Jamie Scooge, took his one-year-old son, Woodrow. It was his birthday. Yeah. So they took him and his mom to the game, and they're not happy. They just don't understand why he doesn't drop Rooney into the midfield because he's finished as a number nine. Yeah. They've got a lot of youngsters. Why not drop him into the midfield? When, when they did that later on, they looked a lot better. Looked a lot better. They came, they came yeah. strongly the last 10 minutes. But yeah. Leon and no monkeys. No, no, no. Good that's... game. And then Red Star, Belgrade, Arsenal. Yeah, I like Arsenal. Eight to 10. I'm having a few pounds on them. Yeah, they'll have uh, the Jerus and Walcotts and all those guys. Yeah, they'll be playing. They'll okay, well, play that's interesting. Now, let's uh, quickly run through the results of the yeah. Premier League last week. Uh, Mourinho parked the bus. Yeah, good result. Terrible display, but... Yeah. Uh, okay, they stay up there, score a lot of yeah. goals. Crystal Palace we went on. I didn't see that, Paul. Yeah. You know, Crystal Palace played well. They yeah. can play. I saw them half, and... Uh, they were Rocky, going. They had more chances than Who Chelsea. Who was that guy who should have scored the third? As a non Van Okay, and Man City. I think they've got five goals with three passes inside the big box. Yeah. They're pretty flexible. They're pretty flexible. They're pretty flexible. They're pretty flexible. They're Yeah. And then 7-2. Tottenham, I thought they eked out a win. They were always yeah. in charge, but I, I, I could see visions of Burnley and Chelsea yeah. and the hoodoo. And then coming back, but thank goodness they, they kept winning. Kept us guys in the yeah. uh, last one standing. <laughs> now, Arsenal got to kicking themselves. Arsenal yeah. are 1-0 up. The, the German boys got yeah. to make it 2-0. Ozil. Ozil's got to make it 2-0. Yeah, but well, there was a chance before that where your ex-goalkeeper made a brilliant save. Gomez. Then, Gomez, brilliant save. And then they went straight down from Ozil's miss penalty. Dodgy, but... Paul, if you can't Don't get you. the ball, rather just stay, stay on your out feet. Of it. We saw that. We yeah. saw that uh, when, when Spurs played against Real Madrid. Don't go no, in there. No. Don't go in there and cross or cruise or whatever. No, it he's is lucky he didn't get sent off. Correct. Don't go in there. And uh, uh, Bellerin, I think it was. Yeah, Bellerin died. And he's very quick too. So he's right, stay on your feet. When a guy gets there, he's just got to get his body there. You yeah. touch him, it's oh. going to be a penalty. So that was Arsenal got to be uh, sick. But Watford, fourth in the log. Yeah, they're above Chelsea. Never say that. Mini yeah. Mourinho. Mini Mourinho. Yeah, yeah. then Brighton, like Everton, do a match. Terrible. Until the last 10 minutes. Yes, it, it picked up. And Everton it, uh, came right. Could have Lest, won it Leicester, West Brom, same thing. Yeah, I'm, Paul, I'm waiting for a goalkeeper to get rid of the wall. Yeah, they're out about 20, 20 yards, 20 metres, whatever you want to call it. And he lined the wall up, Schmeichel, and he went to the left where the wall was, and then he went back, and the guy bent it over the wall. There comes a time someone's going to say, get rid of the wall, I don't want it. Put two boys on the line and let's see what happens. Put four boys on the line Whatever, and two boys yeah. on the wall. Yeah. Put and the keeper uh, in front of the four Paul, boys. Yeah, you can't see it. Yeah, uh, listen, now I'm just talking from yeah. uh, uh, you just bringing this up. But Craig Shakespeare. Yeah. Now, he got the bullet. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I read King's uh, Twitter. Mm -hmm. Great guy and everything like that. He was there with Ranieri. Well, there's rumour he was the guy that put the knife into him. And I remember their first game when they played Liverpool when he took over. Yeah. All of a sudden, there were smiles on the player's face. I want to see what happens with Vardy and all these guys now. Because yeah. he was their mate. Yeah. Let's yeah, see what happens, happens, whether they okay. want to jump ship now. Well, I feel sorry for him. He didn't do a too bad a job. No. Just quickly touch on the Premier League standings because yeah. it's very interesting. Man City, the train rolls on. And yeah. you know... This league is so tough. We saw the 94th minute win at Bournemouth. Yeah. You know, they could have dropped two points there. But they're on 22 points. Man United, one hiccup, the draw, the yeah. park, the bus, Mourinho. Uh, Tottenham ticking over nicely, 17. Watford, 15, budge. Brilliant, yeah. But that was a big game. If they don't, they don't beat Arsenal... If Arsenal seven, won that game, they're up right fourth, there. Yeah. yeah, right up there. So it's very tight. Chelsea, 13. Liverpool, 13. And uh, the Everton, eight points at this stage. Yeah, he's got two more games. Paul. Two more. Okay. The MTN Cup final. Oh, shame, yeah. Thoughts I, for Benny. I saw a photo of Tinkler and Benny in the Springbok side. Okay. When, they, when they played for Bafana years yeah. ago, now they're up against each other. Well, why did you feel for Benny? 
They had chances. Paul at 1-0. Supersport obviously had to have a full go. And Cape Town City caught them on the break. I think they missed four chances to put it away. Mistake at the back, one all. And I think they ended up with nine men. Supersport. Yeah. They were crippled. They were buggered. And unfortunately, penalty shoot, lottery, and they got beat. Okay, Dave. Right here in Durban. Okay, yeah. let's move on to... The PSL fixtures. Now, this is hotting up nicely. Yeah. And, uh, Kaiser Chiefs going to Sundowns winning 2-1. Fantastic. Keeps Compella in, yeah. in, in a comfortable seat. Yeah, big result for Steve. First half, they were outplayed. Scored from a free kick just before half time and did well. They were hanging on. Yeah. But uh, great result. Absolutely. Then Cape Town City. Yeah, uh, shame. You know, they got lo yeah, losing, obviously, the, the final on Saturday. Maybe that had uh, a demotivating yeah. factor. But Bloom Salty don't give many goals away. They're a dangerous team. Yeah, so there they go. And then now Wednesday, Amazulu uh, Polapwani. Phew. This, uh, the goal that uh, Amazulu scored, whoa, was a fantastic shot from out the box. They were 3-1 down. They came yeah. back right at the end to 3-2. They deserved a point, but Blum, uh, I mean, Polokwane City get the yeah, three when points. When you're struggling to survive, Paul, you can't give three goals away, especially at home. But Rocker, top of the league, they yeah. drew 1-1. One, one. Hanging in, arrows are one down, came back one all. They're still one and two, those two teams. Pirates, uh, well, what can you, you say know, Pirates? Should have, you know, you've got to score the second goal in these games, Paul. Why? Yeah. It's 1-0. Yeah, you know, and you yeah, give you've a got squeak. to put them to bed, yes. Terrible goal to give away, took it well. You'll make Roger the size, yeah. yeah. Free State Stars. 2-0 over AX Cape yeah, Town. you don't get beat too often there, Paul. Yeah, you know, one, yeah. It's not easy. Cape Town, not the best of travellers. And Chipper and Meritsburg, no score. Yeah, Meritsburg trying to come back. Let's just quickly touch on the league because yeah. it's, it's really hotting up nicely. Top of the league, Barocca. Who would have thought that? Yeah, 16 points. They're two points clear. But in this league, what worries me, sometimes you... No, you went three in a row, Paul, and then the whole league log changes. Golden Arrows, second. Yeah, Orlando awesome. Pirates, third on 12 points. Kaiser Chiefs, fourth... Cape Town City, fifth. Where's last year's winners? Second bottom. Fifteenth. How's the league? Yeah. Well, bad start, Paul, but a few way victories. Up. Yeah, yeah Gavin knows up. what he's doing. Okay, World Cup qualified draws. Now, I heard today that Mane is going to be ready to play for Senegal. He's included in the home well, and away Well, they put him in the squad, but let's see what happens. I'm sure if, Liverpool if, fans if won't be happy. If we win home and away, we qualify for Russia, someone yes. said. Yes. Yeah. Okie dokie. Uh, so the World Cup qualifier, Northern Ireland, one off against uh, Switzerland. No, or? home and away. Switzerland. They got lucky. The two Irish teams got lucky, Paul. Croatia, Greece. <sighs> Wouldn't like to have drawn Croatia. Denmark, Republic of Ireland. Yeah, yeah. good draw for them. Sweden, Italy. Yeah. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Well, Italy and Croatia were the two seeded teams they wanted to avoid. Unfortunately for the Irish teams, they got ninth, lucky. 9th and 11th of November, yeah, first leg. Yeah, that's the first leg. Yeah. Uh, and then the second leg... Yeah, uh, it's basically uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that week. Get it over, with, yeah, okay. get over and done with it. Right, that. let's get on the English Premiership budget. Yeah. This is uh, getting very interesting now. Uh, straight in, we'll have the betting boards up. West Brom play Brighton. Uh, West Ham, Paul. Yeah, I like Sorry, West, West Ham. Ham. I, I, I like West Ham here, Paul. I know Carroll got sent off stupidly, but I think without him, you know, Chicharito and I like West Ham. Brighton aren't the best of travellers. The only point they've got away from home was at Watford. Remember the guy Britos got yes, sent off in yes, 10 minutes. Yeah, shocking think, tackle. Yeah, yes. good at nice and tight at home. I like West Ham. Chelsea, hard to beat. Should be, Paul. But Watford, you never know. The last five away Troy games. Troy Deeney. Troy Deeney, <laughs> they came off the bench. They scored two goals in the last five away games, Watford. You know, they've won three, drawn one of the games. It should be a mismatch, but until you put the second one away, it won't be easy for Chelsea. Man United, I think, will be too strong. Well, for we should, you know, if we can't. You, you know, you've caught these games, but you've caught. Yeah. I remember the commentators saying when they played uh, Liverpool, Liverpool have played seven of the top nine teams, Man United yeah. played seven of the bottom yeah. nine teams. Yeah. Now, this is Huddersfield. You, you, you get Paul, them early. You know, last year, well, our home record was eight wins, ten draws, and one defeat. Okay. Ten draws. We drew with Burnley, Palace, all the lesser teams. It's a big bust, that, isn't it? Massive bust, yeah. <laughs> But uh, it was a good result. Paul, if Mourinho, if United can get appointed Spurs, appointed yeah. Chelsea, yeah. appointed Liverpool right and Man City, we'll be there. It was yes. our home form yeah. last year that cost us, not yeah. our away form. Yeah. OK. So uh, you, you, I would think... Should uh, be an easy yeah, victory. Too good. Yeah. OK. Man City, Burnley. Now, Burnley, of course, all the surprises. They came into town and they beat Chelsea. They got a draw Toward at Liverpool, Wembley. Lord Spurs, and they yeah. beat Everton. Yeah. But uh, Man City... You know, like the way they're playing, Paul. You know, you've got a fancy Man City, the hottest team in Europe at the moment. Yeah, she's a good side. Uh, especially going forward. 
Okay, and then uh, Newcastle United? Uh, I don't know what to make of this game. You know, Crystal Palace were dead and buried, but the fight they showed last week, Paul, it was very good. they were impressive. They you know, were. They'll come fired up this week. Saka this will be a good game. Back. Good game. I think there's goals in this, Paul. Any yeah. result wouldn't surprise me here. Swansea City, they, 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 they're hanging in. Yeah, and Leicester I'm, City will, will probably have a new boss or a caretaker. No, nah, I think it'll be a caretaker. You never know who it's going to be. You know, I was disappointed in Swansea. They, at home, they, they've only won one game, and that was Huddersfield. And if you'd seen the back pass, the goalkeeper tried to play it from the back, and it got caught, and they gave them a nice goal, 1-0. I don't know. The two teams are like Leicester, but the draw wouldn't surprise me here, Paul. You know? Okay, Stoke, Bournemouth. Stoke well, got a bounce back. Excuse you'd expect me. that. You know, Bournemouth... Crikey, you know, they just don't look... Stoke, I don't watch is, Stoke 17th? Yeah, struggling. But, you know, at home, they, they drew with United. Good result. They beat yeah. Arsenal. They yeah. beat Southampton. Yeah, it was only uh, yeah, Chelsea... So, so Bournemouth got it all to do. Yeah, it's the tightest ground in England, or the Premiership Stoke. The two teams fancy Stoke. Southampton, can they score more goals? West oh, Brom away? Boy. You know, well, it was a good game them against Newcastle. Yeah. You know, I just don't... You know, the way they play, it's just so slow. Yeah. And West Brom are well organised. Yeah. Nothing a draw's written all over this one. Okay, Everton need a win, but they've got Austin. You know, the home record, I think the last 14 home games, they've won 11 and lost three. They've only lost to the big teams other than Burnley. You know, Arsenal away from home. Well, I think there'll be goals. This is, I think, his swan song. Kevin. Doesn't yeah, get a result uh, uh, yet. Arsenal away from home, he's lost to Stoke, Liverpool and Watford. Yeah. And, you know, and their uh, best result was Chelsea. Chelsea away. But, you know, Thursday night, I just think he's confused at the moment. But he's got to go there and have a go. But uh, Everton, you never know. He's got to play that youngster. I think it's Davis, the little blonde-haired boy that plays with his yeah. socks down. He's got yeah. to play. Yeah, you've got to play him. So a big game for Koeman. But interesting game. Tottenham Hotspur half-line. <laughs> Liverpool. We don't play You never beat well. them. Yeah, no, I, I, we beat them once when I went and watched a few years back. We beat them 2-1. I went and watched the game. Yeah. Uh, I think Liverpool are a very good side. They do concede. Mm. But, you know... Uh, both teams will go for it here. Well, that's there's a good no thing about it. There's no here. bus park here. Yeah, there's no bus park here. This yeah. game will have goals. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Harry and boys, I think, will get on the board. Whether they better and get a few yeah. more. I think it's a very tough game for both teams. No, definitely. But Not the right draw, time. A draw could be a tick in each one's box. Yeah, I think it will be. But uh, I'm very impressed with Salah. Sure. Deli Ali comes back. That's good. Okay, let's go PSL fixtures because yeah. it's they're starting to warm up now. Kaiser Chiefs, have they found their mojo? Well, they stopped giving away silly goals, Paul. In the goal... local derby? What's the record well, the like last, in these uh, local derby? Terrible. They haven't won in the last seven. Who? Pirates Chiefs. haven't beat Pirates. It's been two wins and five draws. So the draw's written all over this one. Yeah. Of the two teams, you've got a fancy Chiefs. But, you know, local derby's, local Paul. Local derby, the biggest yeah. game in Africa. Golden and, Arrows. Yeah, Polo fancy Guani. Golden Arrows. You know, a good team. But they all away from home, they've got a better record than at home. But you'd expect them to beat Polokwane. Yeah, Correct. Ajax Cape Town coming off a defeat. Struggling Ajax, third bottom. You know, Bloom Celtic, one of those teams that give nothing away. Yeah, Likewise, they, they, a draw. Ajax Cape Town, a draw, but any results possible there, Paul. Yeah. Okay, Free State Stars at home. Got to fancy them. Yeah, Platinum Stars had a lot of fights in them last night against Pirates. They haven't won in eight games. Sure. Free State Stars and a draw for me. Okay, Mamelodi Sundowns, Amazulu. I think right. Sundowns, good thing. Should be, yeah. Good thing. Yeah, definitely, I think that's the case. And then Baraka, now they won't win the league. You can take it in writing from me, they won't you win the league. You said that about Leicester, but, uh, you know... Yeah, I, I was completely wrong shouldn't. with Leicester. But, uh, Paul, Bit, you know... Vitz got to bounce well, back. Well, they've got to bounce back. They never had a game in midweek, because they're playing Super Sport United, who play in CAF on the weekend, so they had a break. Whether that's a good or bad thing, I don't know. But, uh, you know, Bid, Vid, 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 in the draw for me here, Paul. I'm strong on Vitz here. Okay, and then Chipper United yeah, versus Cape Town. You know, Cape Town got to turn it around now. Well, they've drawn the last five games, Chipper. But it, uh, I think this game's in Port Elizabeth. Yeah, okay. But away from home, Cape Town City, a good team, Paul. Yeah, they are a good team. They're, they're a good all-round team, yeah, Cape Town nice City. Team. Right, let's see if we can win some money. It's all important. Uh, but let's run through the Soccer six. Here. Yeah, I've gone uh, gold narrows in the draw against Polokwane. I've gone the field with the Soweto Derby. I've gone for Valencia. Now, Sevilla got beat 5-1 in Russia. Valencia are on in, the Euro, uh, on in any U European league, and they second top, going well. Mm, going well. Yeah, I've gone the field with Ajax and Bloom Celtic. I've gone free state stars in the draw against Platinum Stars, and I've banked at Sundowns to be Namazulu. So you've got to catch that. Got to catch that. It's Not one, so. two, a few legs. And now this one? Well, yeah, you think United should be too good for Huddersfield. Yeah. Likewise, Man yeah. City for Burnley. The two bankers I've gone good. the field with Newcastle Palace. Yeah. I've gone, I don't see Stoke losing at home to Bournemouth. Of the two teams, I've gone Leicester win and draw at Swansea, and I've gone the field with the last game. 2-1-6. Okay, 2-1-6. Right, soccer 10. 
Let's have a look what we've got here. Right. Yeah, I've got... You uh, spoke to Steve about yeah, a few of these. How have you, you got? You know, these things will be plenty of goals, you know, and so taking the chance. I've gone Hull City win and draw at Barnsley. I like Bolton to have a second win in a row against a poor travelling QPR. Brentford, Sunderland, desperation game. I think if they get beat, Sunderland is gone, Simon Grayson. But I don't see... I think this, that game will but end up in a draw. you haven't got to win, I see. No, I've gone win and draw, uh, Bria. Brentford at home, one win, five draws, six yeah. games. I've banked in Man United to beat Huddersfield, Man City. I've gone Cardiff, win and draw at Middlesbrough. Good game. Yeah, it will be. I've gone the field, Newcastle at Crystal Palace. Another I've, good game. Another good game. I've gone uh, Stoke, win and draw at, against Bournemouth. And I've gone the two away teams, Leicester at Swansea and West Brom at Southampton, 384. Okay, now the, the very hard to catch soccer 13. Yeah. You know, we've thrown obviously a couple of flies to keep the pern down. I've banked in Man United at Huddersfield, likewise Man City against Burnley. I've sided with a home team, Newcastle win and draw against Palace, likewise Stoke against Bournemouth. I've got Leicester win and draw at Swansea. You know, I agree with Steve, it'll be a tight game. I've got Aston Villa win and draw against Fulham. I've got Hull City win and draw at Barnsley. I think a bank taking a chance, bank at Bolton against QPR. I've gone Bristol City win and draw against Leeds. A bank at Derby in form at home to beat Sheffield Wednesday. I've gone Cardiff win and draw at Middlesbrough. A bank at Sheffield United to beat the Opstoms Reading. Gee, and that the, could be his swan song. Could well be. And the last one's a desperation game, especially for Eskils Tuna. Three games to go. They need at least six points to have a chance. They're playing the team, Ellsborg, with nothing to play for. So I've gone Eskils Tuna win and draw at home against Ellsborg, 385. Okay, let's go to Budgie's best bets. The best part of the show. Yeah, you know... the. Okay, Budge, I'm going to pick your brain on okay. these. Let's go to the first one. The uh, Man United to beat Huddersfield by more than one goal. Okay, now, the next can... one, yeah, there, some of the, there are a lot of games I didn't really like this week, and I've gone the draw in Swansea-Leicester. Another draw for Leicester. Okay, and I've gone over two and a half goals in the two Sunday games. Everton-Arsenal and Tottenham-Liverpool, three okay. and a half to two. Right, that's got a squeak. I'm, I've got no grumbles yeah. there. You know, Let's look at your championship. Yeah, championship. Double. I've gone two games both to end in a draw. I've gone Brentford-Sunderland. And yes. Bristol City against Leeds United, but they're both to end in a draw, 12 to 1. Okay. Win or draw Father? Uh, this is the one we caught last week. Yeah, I've gone uh, West Brom to win or draw against Southampton. I've gone the one that'll please you, Liverpool, to either win or draw against your beloved well, that's Tottenham. The, that's the end of that bet. <laughs> I've gone Bolton, win or draw at home against QPR. I've gone Cardiff, win or draw away at uh, Middlesbrough. And I like Hull to get a positive result at Barnsley, 1900 to 200. Right, both teams both to score. Both teams to score, yeah. I think Stoke, uh, Stoke, Bournemouth, I think it'll be a high scoring game. They both can't defend. Yeah, Newcastle Palace, I think, should be a cracker. Yeah, it'll yeah. be a good game. Bolton QPR, Bolton can't keep a clean sheet, neither can QPR. And the local East Anglia Derby on Sunday, Ipswich against Norwich, 1700 to 200. Okay, the Spanish omelette. Yeah, the omelette, Paul. I've gone Deportiva La Coruna to beat Girona. I've gone over two and a half goals in the Valencia Sevilla and Real Sociedad and Espanyol game. And I was looking for value. My beloved Real Batiste, who I've jumped ship from Las Palmas, to score in both halves against Alaves. 2,600 to 200, and the uh, six on Nixa, yeah, Collis, Collis King. King. Yeah. Yeah, I've gone United to beat Huddersfield, Deportiva to beat Girona, I've gone Sampdoria to beat Crota in the Italian Serie A, I've gone RB Leipzig, who got all their players back now to beat Stuttgart in the Bundesliga on Saturday, PSG, one of the best teams Gee, in Europe, team, they're playing Marseille team. away on Sunday, and Juventus Sunday game against Udinese, 2,600 to 200. Okay, dokey. Well, that's excellent, Budge. Nice to get our sheet up to date here. Just to uh, let you know, those of you on uh, last one standing, Budge will be sending through. Get your selection through early, especially the, the three that are fighting for the first uh, flight overseas. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much to uh, Dave Go, And uh, here we are, last one standing. And uh, sponsored by Dave Go, as I said. And uh, there's the uh, website. And uh, until next week, stay on side.